Target here in Garner. Um, looking for still a retro Mandalor Mandalorian retro uh, car doing and Baby Yoda. That's the only thing I'm looking for right now. So, not sure what else. I haven't been to his store since like last Wednesday, so I'm not sure what to expect. Some jeans, jeans shorts. This cup, blur, this, come on. That's the pillow space, probably Kingdom Rhinox and Target. I think it's made its way to North Carolina yet. Spiritizers. Cyclops, Electro, Black Panther. I haven't seen this. Is this Wave 2? I think this might be Wave 2, not sure. WWE, Series 10, Holiday Elite Collection, Series 83. Star Wars, just a couple of black series, no binge. I mm, got one Queen of Madonna. We're still more He Man and Skeletor. I didn't get rid of those. Here's a Panther. A <laughs> bunch of battle cats back there. Here's a beat now, John Raymond Arnold. Might speed up a little bit. Or is it? No, no. That's the regular box. I thought the box was being up. I got at least a couple of those. Hello, Fortnite. I got from Nika. That's Warhammer. Frankenstein. Some reaction. Fingers got how we two. Saw that notary earlier this week. Mommy. That's a quick front of Black Green. Dracula. She pop. Marvel Avengers. I want to get a new Kong here. Saw that earlier this week at our target. But it do as the other Kongs. Trick or treat. Uh, Annabelle. I mean, Dr. Moon's two pack. I saw those earlier this week. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I thought below is like, very loud in here, but I, I just came across these Star Wars figures. These are, these are three and three quarter inch. Huh. Five dollars each. So this is a guy said a Luke Skywalker. They got Darth Vader, there's a hot solo. Is that thin? Okay, also. This is from Clone Wars. That's what Clone Wars is from, I don't know what his name is. Uh, oh, King and Jerus. There's a Ray. Huh. The color ran back there. And there's a snow trip by the outside. There's a, um, such a, here's a, um, what's that for a mom's little movie? It's a snow trip about it, too. Hmm. I'm gonna get some, I think I'm gonna get some of these.
Uh, I still got these. I still got this for three dollars. It's miniature ones. I got tobacco, Luke, Darth Vader, and uh, uh, Stormtrooper. I think I got that Chewbacca. No, I don't. I'm gonna get him also. Yeah, so just a quick toy hat. Um, yesterday, yesterday was Saturday. Um, over at Target and um, rings. I know, but um, right below. Um, did manage to pick up one thing. I well, actually a few things over um, right below. So I got these um, Citizen Star Wars figures. They're not really Black Series figures. But they were $5 each, so I was like, why not? I had to hear that they were sold at Dollar General also. I don't, I don't ever go to Dollar General, so don't know. But um, I picked up five of these. So I got um, Luke Skywalker. And uh, Darth Vader. Han Solo. Kylo Ren. And a First Order Stormtrooper. So uh, these, so the package is not really that much toy. It's just you got your four standard plastic window and your figure on the logo on the front. And uh, artwork on the side. And then your logo on the other side. And the um, logo and all the information on the back. So that's pretty much what the packaging looks like. So I will open up one of these so we can see what they look like. We'll open up Han Solo. I don't know what the articulation is on these. Uh, I think they're probably very um, not much articulation on these. I don't have my uh, box cut away from me. So. So on um, the package, doesn't look like he has much articulation. Let's get these. Oh, uh, it ties off. So basically, the articulation is basically on the um, head. His head does swivel, and his arms do move up and down. And he does waist does swivel, and that's basically yeah. His legs do not move, and has no elbow, knee, no knee joints or elbow joints. So basically, you just got four points on articulation on this, these figures. But for five dollars, it's not too bad. And. Uh, can't remove the weapon because it's glued in to his hand. So, I mean, for $5, it's not that bad of a figure. So, definitely. Um, this will probably be the only ones I get. They had some more from Force Awakens and um, they had um, Solo from the Han Solo from the Solo movie and um, who was it? Kanan Jarrus from um, Clone Wars. That's basically it. Um, Darth Vader, Luke, and Han Solo are one of the only figures from the um, New Hope. Um, but yeah, so not too bad for five dollars. Um, I also picked up this um, Chewbacca uh, figurine. So they have uh, four of these uh, in this uh, wave. Um, I already got the three. The other three is uh, Luke, Darth Vader, and a uh, Stormtrooper. I did not get. I did not have um, Chewbacca, so I picked him up. Um, he was three dollars. So that is my pickups from um, uh, Five Below. Did not get anything at Target. So I got a couple other things in the middle this week, so I will show you what those are. Uh, first off, we got um, AEW Series Five that came in from Resale Collectibles. So I only got four out of the six uh, figures in the wave. So I got um, Jungle Boy. And there's a look at him on the back. And Luchasaurus, was, which looks fantastic. This is going to be the hottest figure out of the wave, I believe. Right. 
Viking Kazarian. And Scorpio Sky. Now the other two figures out of the way, um, John Moxley and Anna Page, um, I have them on a separate pre-order. I uh, wasn't sure if I could get those um, when I ordered these since um, Moxley and um, Page are repeats. But I decided later to get them, so I have them on a separate pre-order. It should be coming in fairly soon, hopefully in next uh, week or two. But um, Kazarian and um, Sky do come with the uh, Tag Team Champion ship belts. These are the first AEW figures for the Tag Team uh, titles. And of course, when this was when both of them were part of SCU. And basically, um, SCU is not really anymore right now since um, Christopher Daniels and um, Frankie Kazarian have um, broken up. And of course, Scorpio Sky is doing his own uh, thing with uh, Ethan Page. So, that is uh, my haul from Race Collectibles. And uh, of course, um, what today is Sunday. Uh, tonight is Double or Nothing. It's Double or Nothing weekend. Um, yesterday, AEW hosted a fan fest for Double or Nothing in Jacksonville um, at Davis Place. Uh, actually, I think I was at the Jaguars football stadium from the pictures I've seen. But they um, revealed a lot of new AEW figures. Um, I'm not going to go into them that much, but um, I have posted a bunch of pictures on my Instagram at Dark Prime Toys. If you want to go check those out. So basically, they announced the next um, two ways for Arrival to be unraveled on 7 and 8. And there's a bunch of new figures that include those for two waves. Um, Lance Archer, FTR, Nala Rose, could be in seven. And uh, Chuck Tiller and Trent Beretta, best friends. And uh, Chris Stantlander is going to be in uh, series eight. That'll be the new figures for those two waves. And there's some repeats in those two waves too. Then they announced the uh, new uh, matched series. Uh, it's not that much different from Arrival. It's just that uh, the packaging is going to be different. And I believe the packaging is going to be like a silver and a blue uh, versus the black and gold we've gotten for Arrival. So for Arrival, for un, excuse me, Unmatched, they announced the first three waves. So, so the new figures we're going to be getting are Dr. Brett Baker and uh, Miro for Series 1. Uh, Brett Becker has been one figure for a long time since they've started the um, AEW figures, so she's finally getting her figure. And uh, for Series 2, Sting, I, I can't believe how early they come in with Sting. I figured they would do Sting soon, but not this soon. But we're getting Sting figure. Um, also, oh, Tank Hati, that's another figure. I'm surprised we're getting it pretty early. Uh, Warlow. And those are new figures for... Um, series um series two for unmatched series three it's mostly gonna be all dark or dark order finally getting dark order figures and of course we'll we are getting Brady lee um we're also getting um evil uno and Stu grayson john silver finally get finally, happy to finally get a figure of him and uh anna jay so those are going to be the new figures for um, Series 3. And those could be repeats for 1, 2, and 3, of course. Um, one other thing uh, with the Unmatched Series, they are going to be including um, these um, LGN figures. They are like these old rubber figures. WWE uh, uh, did a long time ago. They're very small figures. So they are doing a um, Cody Rhodes LGN figure for um, a match series one, and there's gonna be a Darby Allen LGN figure for series three. Um, also, they announced a um, double or nothing uh, wrestling ring with um, Aubrey Edwards, the referee, uh, that will be exclusive to Ringside Collectibles. Uh, I don't know if I will get that ring or not. I mean, I wouldn't mind having Aubrey Edwards, but. I don't know if I have room for two wrestling rings. I already got the um, standard AEW ring, so I don't know. We'll see. So that is it for um, AEW and 
got uh, one more thing to show you. Uh, this came from Lego, and I, I need to move some of this stuff because this is a uh, big um, package. If you follow me on Instagram at Dark Prime Toys, you probably already know what it is. This is the Lego uh, Marvel Daily Beagle. Um, just came out uh, this past week. So this is set number uh, 76178. It has 3,772 pieces. Um, includes um, 25 me figures. There's all the me figures on top of the box. And it retails for $300. So, I actually had to order this on uh, lego.com um, because my um, lego store has sold out. Um, this came out on Wednesday and it's only available for uh, lego VIP members for right now. It'll be available for everybody this coming on uh, Tuesday, June 1st. So, I'm going to probably start building this today. Uh, I might do it like a showcase video on this after I get a bell, just show you a few things on the set and I go through the mini figures with you. I'm not going to do like a live build or anything like that. But um, I'll, put, I'll do some like progress photos of my build on Instagram if you want to check those out. So let me show you the bots real quick. So that is the front of the bus. And this thing is, this thing is really massive. It's like four stories. So I want to pay my legacy, but I don't, I don't know where. <laughs> I haven't get, uh, figured that out yet. So there's the back. So yeah, I'll be starting on this today. I can't wait. But that is it for this uh, quick toy haul uh, or toy hunt. Um, for this weekend, uh, of course, Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody is having a good weekend so far. I hope you are safe. Uh, enjoying the holiday. And uh, let me know down in the comments what you are looking for. Have you found anything that you're looking for on your hunts this week? Let me know down in the comments. And that is it for this toy hunt and haul video. Thank you for watching as always. Remember to subscribe, like, Comment, of course, and share, and I will see you guys next time.